G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today, I thought I would follow on from ranking the AFL 2022 Clash Jumpers by ranking the AFL 2022 Indigenous Guernseys. Also, quick shout out to UCAT who's done this video. I think everyone's pretty much done this video, but I'm using UCAT's uh, tier maker. I just wanna give a little bit of context. So this bracket is in a very high bracket. So all the Indigenous Guernseys in my mind uh, really 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 high up there and now I'm just breaking down that top bracket of jumpers so every every jumpers in the phenomenal but then let's zoom in and break down which ones of the phenomenal are first and last so that's how I'm gonna do my tier maker everyone is pretty much up the top all right I swear the Bulldogs had something similar last year and I reckon I didn't mind it but I'm gonna put it in okay the Brisbane Lions Football Club never ever miss when it comes to their Guernseys. It's actually a little bit absurd how they do it, but uh, that kit, a little bit Brisbane bearish, got a lot of design, a lot of patterns, one of my favorites. West Coast with the snake, I will say is in great ripping Guernsey. As everyone knows, we all love all the patterns of the indigenous artwork and um, yeah, that's just a ripping jumper design, isn't it? The Saints, Another great indigenous Guernsey that goes in okay. Um, Nikki Winmar, I believe, down the bottom. I swear they had the same one last year. Maybe I'm tripping, but um, yeah, it goes in okay for mine. Pretty good design, and there's a lot of intricate little details in it as well, which I like. The cats, I like it. I am from Geelong. I'm pretty sure our area is Waterong. Obviously, there's a little bit of ocean about that. I would hazard a guess. Really cool design. I like the white about it as well it's a bit more of a prominent white guernsey so yeah big big fan of that one and um i'm actually going to put it in phenomenal actually i don't know why i put it in okay to start but i'm going to put that in phenomenal the melbourne football club i reckon is in phenomenal i reckon it's our best one yet it looks awesome i like that there's a bit more artwork to it i like that it looks nothing like our normal jumper it's not our normal jumper <clears throat> but with a couple of patterns like there's actual like birds and hands and stars and uh, there's a long sleeve version of it as well that I believe Maxi Gorn is going to wear this weekend. A Ruckman in a long sleeve. So um, yeah, I would say the D's is one of the best ones this year as well. Maybe I'm a little bit biased, but I think, I think I'm not. I think I'm being professional here. Collingwood's I'd put in great. Uh, once again, it's sort of structured like the normal jumper. It's got the bars on it and a couple of feathers and a few sort of subtle designs as well, but um, I like when teams fully mix it up. Uh, like the Lions, the Cats and the Ds, they don't really resemble their normal jumpers at all. So I like teams that fully mix it up and fully go for it. And um, I might put the Pies in okay, uh, actually. The Hawks can go in okay as well. Uh, that's the first time I've seen the Hawks Indigenous Guernsey. It looks a bit like a netball kit from here. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really know the story or the idea behind it. I do like that it's fully mixed up though. Like it doesn't look anything like the Hawthorne jumper, but um, just on first first sort of uh, impressions, I'm gonna put it in okay. North Melbourne, I reckon, have one of the best ones again this season. Um, the kangaroo, what an iconic Australian animal. Um, obviously they are the kangaroos, so they're represented by the kangaroos all season, but I just think um, having it as like an indigenous design, the kangaroo looks really, really cool. And yeah, I just think the whole light blue, dark blue, white is all incorporated really, really well. So big fan of the Roos Indigenous Guernsey. The Swans, I reckon we saw something similar last year. Now, I don't know whether I'm tripping, but I reckon the Dogs, the Saints and the Swans had a sort of similar pattern to last season. So I'm gonna put it in okay. Um, yeah, and it's also a little bit similar to their normal Guernsey. Like you can sort of see that the sort of top half of their normal jumper. Um, and then obviously the whites filled in with a few designs, but yeah, for me, a little bit similar to the normal Guernsey, and I reckon I've seen something similar before by them. The Crows. The Crows arguably could have been in Phenomenal. That's a very sick Guernsey. Actually, I'm gonna put it in Phenomenal. What a Guernsey. Adelaide Crows. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, I love the colors. I love that they incorporate all the colors from the club. I love, yeah, the red, the yellow. I love the design. Um, I love how central it is on the front of the Guernsey. I just think it's, yeah, an awesome kit. 
All right, couple more to go. The blues for mine goes in okay. That's my first impression of it. There's a fair bit happening on the kit. It's almost a little bit too similar to the normal Guernsey in terms of like, it's got the same monogram and and whatnot. And yeah, just in f first impressions for mine, that goes in okay. Freo, I reckon goes in great. Looks really, really cool, the Freo jumper. Um, really mixed up from their normal home Guernsey design. Incorporates the colors really well. Plenty of artwork going on. Yeah, just does plenty for me. So the Dockers, Guernsey goes in great. GWS's goes in great as well. <sighs> what an awesome kit. What an awesome design. I love the white they've incorporated. So it's a bit more of a clashy type jumper. They've got the G similar to how Carlton have the monogram but they've mixed it up a little bit and there's patterns all around it and um, little bits of artwork on it. So I reckon that looks really, really sick. Um, yeah. The Giants always seem to do a good kit. They've got one of the best clash jumpers. They've got one of the best training jumpers, like that all orange jumper as well. Uh, the Giants know how to, how to do it, I reckon. The Suns goes in okay. Pretty cool kit. Um, yeah, I don't really have an opinion on it. I can't really see intricate details and this is the first time I've ever really seen it uh, but yeah it's um yeah it's a tick tick for mine it, it, it looks pretty good the power that looks awesome I'm gonna put the power in phenomenal as well an all black kit we love the all black kits like we talk about GWS's charcoal and whatnot a um, little bit of teal as well and then how good is the artwork at the front of the Guernsey you can see like a swan at the front yeah, that looks awesome. So Port Adelaide, I reckon, have absolutely smashed it here. Two more to go. Dreamtime at the G team. So we've got Bombers and the Tigers. You almost feel like these jumpers could clash when they play each other. They're both, both very, very um, predominantly black kits. I reckon the Bombers probably goes in great. I like how the sash is almost non-existent. And the artwork looks really, really cool. And then the Tigers, I reckon we've seen them do this kit a few times um, very similar to their normal kit it looks okay it looks okay but um, it's not one of my favorites so I'm gonna put that in okay but there you go there are all the AFL kits all the AFL indigenous kits for season 2022 that is how I saw them I think all the Guernseys are amazing and I was just uh, splitting hairs to try and decipher which ones go where in terms of ranking but they're all very close they're all in the upper echelon of kits i love the idea i love the thought behind them we all love indigenous rounds it's one of yeah one of the great rounds of the afl where we get to celebrate our indigenous culture and yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments down below uh, once again i'll see you guys for some more content very very soon i appreciate the support i appreciate everyone watching the videos and i'll see you all very very soon see you